Welcome Libra. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. Using the Dragon Oracle cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's have a little look-see here, Libra. Okay, one card for Libra, please. One card for Libra. Oh, I love this, I love this, I love this. Okay, this is Omega Dragon. Look at this beautiful, beautiful card. Look at that. Really standing out to me here, this... This here, the spiral in the heart chakra, it looks like. Is that the heart? Yes, it is. Oh, and then it's on the tail too. Something awakening within you, maybe. Anyway, oh, I wonder if it's to do with the full moon that we've just had. Anyway, let's not read too much into it until we know what we know. Okay, so this says, Harnesses the divine feminine power of creation. Intention. Oh, sorry. So, I suppose be aware of your intention. Hold your vision. Birth the higher consciousness. So I want to say here, Libra, it doesn't matter about your gender, okay? It's the energy that has been talked about, okay? So when we're talking about birthing the higher consciousness, this is this feminine energy which we can all do okay so it's really about thinking about your intention and holding your vision okay holding your vision so it's always around you so you're not letting go of it because when you let go of it you lose momentum of the vibration which helps to bring it in okay so omega dragon three cards for omega dragon For Libra, please. I don't know if I liked the way they came out. Do I want those? No, no, I don't want those. Okay. Okay, so three cards for Libra for Amiga Dragon, please. That's what I'm talking about. It's on floor, can't even see it. That's all right. Nice. Oh no, these two, because that one, that one didn't, yep, okay, right, let me pick this one up. Okay, Libra, oh, let's have a little look, see here, I'm loving this, I'm loving this already. Okay, we've got gratitude and appreciation, we have inner truths, and we have culmination of vision. Okay, actually getting so much about this already just with these three cards so this is going to be great all right so gratitude and appreciation okay when we're talking about um birthing the higher consciousness and and your intention right and holding your vision there's no better way to do it than with gratitude okay with gratitude and appreciation because that keeps that vibration going and um, and really connecting in with that vibration because I'm looking at the unicorn here and how the hair is wavy and that's saying to me about this vibration, right? And I'm seeing the moon here. See, this is the moon again. So this has to be significant, this full moon. So really look at what it is that you're manifesting um, or, or that you want to manifest. It doesn't matter that the full moon has just passed because it's a strong energy. So do it, do it. Like as soon as you finish watching this whole video, hop off and really make sure you've set your intention for what it is that you want, okay? If you haven't done that already, if you've already done it, revisit it, go back, feel it, really um, absorb it into your being so that you can hold on to that. Now, the other thing, Libra, is that especially in those times that you get pulled out of that, try to remember to go back, try to remember to go and have a look at the intentions, um, what it is that you, you are wanting to create for yourself and just slip right back into that energy so that you're not losing that momentum okay oh dang it went on the floor okay cool let me get this one okay so we have success 
we have comparison and success here. I feel like what this is saying is it when we're talking about comparison particularly is looking at um so funny because I usually see this card in a way that don't compare yourself to others, blah 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 blah. But I actually feel like it's quite a positive thing. It can be turned into a positive thing. So if you say, for example, comparing yourself to others in a negative sense, how can you turn that around, Libra? What can you do differently when in this state of comparison? You can look at those differences and see them positively. Okay, because, for example, say the bamboo looks at this strong tree, whatever this tree is, I don't know what it is, but I know for sure that this is bamboo, right? And I feel like this is saying being being fully aware of who you are for a start, being aware of your strengths, being aware of what it is that you bring to the table, okay? And know that what it is that you bring is more than enough, even potentially you know, I don't want to say more than what this one could do because I feel like there's um, equality here. I feel like it's more saying that not to see yourself as less than. That just because I'm smaller, just because I don't appear as big and mighty as this tree here does not mean that I am not incredibly useful because bamboo has many uses. Many. It can be used to chop in half and put together and run water through pipes to where the water needs to go, right? The, and, and that just is such a quick and easy way to do that. There's so many uses for bamboos, bamboos, uh, bamboo, feeling a little bit bamboozled look at the uses that we have even in words right it's gonna be my new favorite word now bamboozled <laughs> um yeah so by doing that that's going to bring you the success you need this is this is also showing you to celebrate these successes of this understanding of what it is that you have to offer of what it is that you do bring to the table okay um, and go, oh, far out, yeah, I am actually really good at that, or I am, you know, I do have this trait that is beneficial in seeing that within yourself. And I want to say that, yes, that can be easy to do when you're in that mode. What I'm challenging you to do here, Libra, is when you're not in that mode and you're seeing yourself as maybe not feeling so great about yourself or I could never do that or whatever, that that is the important time where you need to change that vibration and step into seeing this um, the value of yourself. Okay, rebirth, look at this, rebirth. Yes, you see, you've got five, it's kind of like you're halfway there to this rebirth, right? But this is going to help amplify that rebirth it's going to help accelerate the growth of it okay because at the moment this this lion for some of you it's an angry lion inside of you for some of you it's a critical lion some of you are too afraid to do what it is that you need to do because you're afraid of the lion that lies dormant within <clears throat> you have music that needs to come up and out but it's surpassing, it's surpassing the thing inside of you that you are afraid of, whatever that be. It's surpassing your fears, okay? There's been work that you've been doing on yourself. There's been things that have happened in your life that have absolutely, completely taken their toll on you. And you're exhausted. It's like, it's like having all the pieces yeah that you need to create something incredible and you've got all the pieces there but because there's this blockage within you the pieces are not fitting into place like you know they can you know because you have this idea in your mind and this vision right 
some of you are just absolutely exhausted of trying and it's kind of like throwing your hands in the air and going that's it I'm done I've I, no, I've got no more energy for this and that's okay Libra that is okay because we have aloneness here and this is what the hermit will do the hermit will know its limits the hermit knows when it's time I don't know why I just referred to the hermit as it that wasn't very nice sorry hermit but the hermit knows his limits he knows when it's time to let his own light lead the way to have that time to rejuvenate to repair this is wise this is wisdom when you know that you're in this exhausted state where you are just like Psh, i am i am i've got nothing left to give this it's time to go within right go into the silence but the thing is that i think what the important thing here is to make sure that when you're in this state that you just don't throw it all away and go that's it and then sit there and not actually do anything with it not actually do the work that is required to get yourself back on track in order to put the pieces together to achieve the success that you were originally aiming for because it's there it's there within you it's there for um I feel like you can feel it in you and it's there to be brought up and out it's there to be to arise but there's something in you here Libra that won't allow it to do so there's something in you that's storing it there's something in you that's saving it it's kind of like for some of you you might not understand why you won't allow it to come out but it's kind of like this protective position that you feel like you need to bury down. But I feel as though that's because of the emotions attached to it. For some of you, you feel too afraid, maybe. Oh, no, that's the wrong word. Afraid is not the right word. Not worthy. Not worthy. Hmm. Mm, which leads me into this card here <sighs> because this hermit here he knows he knows he has the wisdom he knows he has the knowledge he goes out in in search of it he goes out in the aloneness of the night and he he allows his inner wisdom to lead him he allows his inner truth to step forth and lead the way right for some of you Libras, you're holding back on that. You're not allowing that to happen. It's like I'll just quietly sit over here and hope that that all goes away and all these pieces end up, next time I look at it, they just fall into place. But that's not going to happen. The inner truths, there's, there's different... Um, I want to say here, Libra, these different adventures that you can go on in order to explore yourself, right? There's, an, there's, there's a number of, of paths for you to travel. And I want to say paths of exploration about yourself. Hiding away will not allow you to discover those. You have to step out of the comfort. And for some of you, the comfort has become a little bit too comfortable. So it's time to step out. It's time to step out, light the candle and let it lead the way. What is holding you back is your inner child your inner child and the fear of the inner child. So this is where, and I love that even here, this is the inner child, right, with this appreciation and gratitude. Yeah, bringing that, that side of that inner child out that has that appreciation and gratitude, that has that, that enjoyable, adventurous spirit to go on this journey and reassure the afraid inner child that it's okay because you, the adult, have got this and you, the adult, will lead the way. 
the inner child doesn't need to be going out and exploring the big wide world on its own anymore because you, the adult, have got it, your inner child's back. Feel that, Libra. Feel it. And let your inner child take a back, back seat for once because they've been leading the way this whole time and they are the one who are, is exhausted. The inner child is trying to live an adult life. You can't, we can never put a child out into the world and say, go get a job, go pay the bills, get a house, do this, do that, whatever the adult should be doing, provide. We can't do that because the child has not yet done the growing that it needs to do in order to be able to do that, to be able to provide so in turn, what you're doing is asking your inner child to do that, but the support isn't there for it, so it's time to give it the support that it needs, okay? Time to give it the support that it needs. Okay. Okay, so we have, look at this, hanging in the balance here, hanging in the balance. There's this really strong feeling of vulnerability and feeling like you're going to slip down and crash and burn. And so it's easier to hang in the balance, just don't make a choice, just don't do anything. Just hang in the balance. But even that's scary, even that's uncomfortable for you, right? And that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like for this inner child walking through the world. It feels like it's walking through the world so vulnerable, so exposed, so afraid. And just each step that it takes, it's like, oh my gosh, is the world going to blow up on this step? Because that's what it feels like, right? But when you step into the consciousness and the truth of who you, you are, Libra, when you allow this adult to come forth and lead the way, there is power, there is wisdom. There is confidence, there is surety, and you need not fear. Okay, and the inner child can be allowed to take a back seat and enjoy the ride. <laughs> yeah? And that's where gratitude and appreciation is easier to come by because there's not the stress of trying to just cope. Okay? We have creativity and harmony. Yeah. Finding those things that you enjoy doing. You know, this this is stressful for you right now. I'm not visiting that. Don't look at that. Find the things you enjoy. Find the things that, that give you that sense of peace, okay? Because this is what you're aiming for ultimately. But it really is being honest with yourself and truthful with yourself and making the decision as to what you want to do and which way you want to go, okay? And when you tap in to the... Um, the essence, when you tap into the, the passion, when you ignite that passion again, and maybe that was the passion that got you going on this project to begin with, when you tap into that and just start small, your inner child is allowed to come out and play again. But the thing is, what happened was last, last time it got too heavy and it got too complicated. Go back to basics. Go back to basics. Go right back to the beginning. Right? Go back to the beginning. Remember what it was. Even if this, for example, it could be in a job. Remember what it was. The passion that that ignited you to get into that line of work. If it's a relationship, go back to the beginning of that love that you felt right at the beginning. That made you fall in love with that person. Right? Bring that into your heart so that you can feel that sense of harmony within you, all right? Yes. Yes. This is the fear. Look at that screaming. This is what's been suppressed. The times when you have had these moments, these thunderbolt moments when everything did come crashing down, those that is what has been suppressed here. 
that is what needs to be worked through. Pushing it down is not going to help it go away. It has to be worked through. This is what this is what your inner child feels like walking through the world. Yeah? Take the inner child, nurture it, and love it, and let it know that you, the adult, have got this, and you will be doing yourself a huge favour. Huge. Believe me. Huge. Okay? Culmination of vision. Yep. This is the thing, right? Get a pen and paper if you have to, and remember the vision. This is why it's coming out to go back, go back to the beginning of where that passion was ignited to begin with. Go back to the beginning of where it is that you decided to build the dream that you wanted. Go back to that, become one with it again. Okay? Really embody that with your entire being. So that you can start, you know, and, and you could even start to slowly walk through the journey that has got you to where you are today to see how that slipped somehow. So that you can do it differently next time, right? Tell me more about culmination of vision for Libra, please. Okay. Just get these in order of how they came out so that we are on track here. Nice. Nice. Yes. The existence. The existence. The beginning of the creation of what it is that you wanted. Go back to that. Okay. Trust it. Trust that you. See this is you flying solo like. This is you feeling a little bit like. Oh shaky grounds. Can I do this? Trust that you can. Trust that you can and trust that it's going to lead to where you want it to lead to, right? To this creation of everything that you dreamed of. The thing is, I feel like some of you have lost, lost faith because at the moment it hasn't gone where you wanted it to go, okay? And maybe things did come crashing down and maybe, maybe some of you actually feel quite ashamed and humiliated about that, okay? These are the things that need to be healed here, all right? They, that sorrow that you hide, that you hide on top side, that you only let out when you're alone, it needs to come out in order for you to allow the abundance to come in. Because what's clogging you up is the sorrow, the abundance, there's no room for it because the sorrow is taking up the room. It's like, it's like going shopping and needing some more clothes but there's no room in your wardrobe. You have to get rid of the things that don't fit, that are old, that you don't like anymore in order to bring the new in, okay? So this is a very important step, very important step here, Libra, okay? And yeah, getting rid of the mind stuff here, Libra, going over and over and over in your mind because that's why this is here, okay? Maybe guilt for some of you. But getting rid of that, okay, and being patient with yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, nurturing this inner child, giving this inner child the love it needs, the love that it never had. Doing that for you, because you are the only one who can do it, okay? And this is exactly what the hermit does as he travels along his journey, and this is why his light shines so bright. Because he does all that for himself. Okay. So. On that note. Let us have a look at the Omega Dragon. Omega. Okay. 108. Alrighty, Libra, Omega Dragon. Harness the divine feminine power of creation, intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. About this card, ninth dimensional Omega Dragons carry the divine feminine vibrations of Shekinah, the universal energy, I don't know if I said that right or not, Bear with me. The universal energy that created our world. 
Shekinah is the feminine counterpart of Archangel Metatron's highest light and represents pure creative vision. Nice. These powerful beings are assisting the birth of higher consciousness on Earth. Collectively, they hold the vision for the new golden age, and this will enable us to achieve the intention set by Lady Gaia for the evolution of the planet. These beautiful silver white dragons will also help us hold a personal vision for the highest good. Every wish starts with a thought that is translated into a picture. And I bet the picture didn't look like this, did it? No. So it's going back to that picture, right? Anyhow, these dragons can see into our minds and will hold our vision with us. Guidance of this card is this. When an Omega Dragon comes to you, it is time to give birth to a special new project, pathway or aspect of yourself that has remained hidden. Call upon these dragons to fill you with the power of the Divine Feminine. This will enable you to hold your vision and bring it into fruition in a wise, balanced and harmonious way. Most important of all, ask the Omega Dragon to look into the greatest desire of your soul and hold the vision of bringing it to manifestation. These dragons can be any shape or size, so just still your mind and give them permission to emerge with your energy. Sorry, to merge with your energy. Ask them to soften your path and the paths of all those who hold the vision of the new golden age. Beautiful. That is awesome, Libra. Definitely do that. And you know, I love this because gratitude and appreciation is going to help you hold that vibration, searching for your inner truths, right? And that's going to bring about this culmination of the vision here. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.